Since taking office in March 2018, the Belize City Council, led by Mayor Bernard Wagner, has been on a path of fiscal prudence, working persistently to improve the financial status of the municipal administration. The first order of business upon assuming control of City Hall two years ago was to audit its books. During that exercise, it was observed that various departments saw an increase in expenditure between 2014 and 2017, with no positive or commensurate results. The outcome of that financial review ultimately served as a measure by which the council would then seek to turn around its standing. It took my team and I many sleepless nights to restore some measure of fiscal sanity to the council's accounts, while reimposing the prudential rules necessary for accountability, transparency, and meaningful participation for good governance. We recognize very early that good governance insists we have transparency and accountability in the management of all our public affairs, thus this audit. The systematic evaluation, particularly of the efficiency and effectiveness of CITCO's economic performance, was conducted by Cedric Flowers, a certified public accountant whose review dates back to the financial year ending March 31st, 2018. Clearly you can see from a revenue standpoint that we went up 9%, and that is very important. That's a benchmark. In most businesses, when you get to a 10% growth, that's very good. If you get 5%, it's good. So when you are within the area of 10%, you are doing extremely, extremely well. Um, so clearly you could see when, compar when compared to 2018 and 2019, March 31st, 2018, March 31st, 2019, we grew by 9% in terms of how we collected revenue. During that period, City Hall was able to take in $2.1 million in additional income and was, in return, able to minimize its overall expenses by $1.7 million. What made up that 9%? Property taxes going from $8.3 million that we collected in 2018 to $9.1 million in 2019. When we took office, the previous council was mired in a between 60-65% collection ratio. We were able to challenge our staff and took it up to 74%. So that means dollars at the end of the day. It means more, more in your coffers. The other driver was an aggressive approach by the valuation department to add new issued titles to the property role. Each and every year, people acquire lands, and if not for our aggressive approach by our valuation department to have those properties included on the tax roll, we would be right back in the same situation in next year. In drawing revenue from various areas of operation, the Belize City Council also realized another $1.5 million from its traffic department. Revenues for traffic, when compared to 2018, increased by 32%, going from 4.5 million in 2018 to 6 million in 2019. That's performance, right? Again, this was driven by Traffic Warden's proactive approach in enforcing traffic laws, right? And, and an increase in registered vehicles and licenses. These are the two major revenue earners for the traffic regime. When everything has been taken into account, Sitco's reversal of fortune is attributed to austerity. Politics, however, won't allow Mayor Bernard Wagner to look beyond the shortcomings of his predecessor. All of this money after tourism got to the Daryl Bradley bond. Right? That got to Fahim bond. When he, he strapped we, take all of we money and he set it aside for pay the bond for the cement streets and where they broke up. Funding from GOB, this is the part where I want to pay keen attention. Funding from GOB decreased by 45%, going from 2.9 million in 2018 to 1.6 million in 2019. And listen, that 1.6 million no come now we. That got direct to Central Bank for pay for Darrell Bradley bond. Right? So, so I put that in notice at the bottom there for make on a seat. Right? Um, that is how, um, so you could clearly see that government has pulled back everything from us. So we at this council has performed extremely, extremely well, given the conditions we met 
Chest beating and self-gratification aside, while the administration has been able to reduce the debt it inherited by focusing on revenue collection and paying off creditors, it is yet to deliver fully on various assurances given to residents at the time of the 2018 municipal elections. Sitco intends to float another short-term municipal bond in order to fulfill those campaign promises. Reporting for News 5, I am Isana Kayatano.